Can you play the murder of Gonzago? Nah. Are you having me on? Eh? You got something to say? Because if you got something to say, pal, come right out and fucking say it. Don't mince your words the way you mince around your fucking castle. All right? I'm sorry. Ah, never mind. <sighs> it's Shakespeare like you've never seen it. I think it's Michael Hurst like you've never seen him. I mean, you're all an introverted and what happens when we die, aren't you? I'm not. I'm a big red Celtic bird We a beard and a kilt and all sexy and virile and you're just not. It is I, Hamlet the Dane. I describe this show as an ex exploration of a breakdown, really. <laughs> if you think about it. Come on, have a go. Try and kill me. No, I, I don't want to. Come on, Hamlet, have a wee go here. Right there, try and kill me. I don't want to. Hamlet! If you peeked through a window at four o'clock in the morning and saw that going on, you would see a man hysterically arguing with himself in different voices. But why? Why do you want to be you? I mean, for Sake. Hamlet Prince of Denmark. There's a tale told by an idiot. Five hours of bloody, bloody, blah, nothing. Oh, are you joking? Tell me that is not King Lear. There's always going to be Shakespeare. That is his great love. That is what he turns to in his darkest hour. The base character, if you like, is sort of me, but not, it's a sort of a version of me, the version that has occasionally been up at three in the morning drinking whiskey and burbling into his glass about Shakespeare or life or Nietzsche or whatever it is, but expanded out so that, so that they, the, the voices become physical. Here's that good story, eh? 